Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up your time-based boost control. So the first step in setting up your time-based boost control is go down to Map Options, and we're going to turn on Wastegate Boost Control. Next, we're going to go down to our Outputs, and we're going to configure a Wastegate Increase and a Wastegate Decrease output. Then we're going to go up to our Inputs, and we're going to configure a Wastegate Pressure Sensor. Choose the type of sensor that we have. This one is a PS150. Next, we're going to go up to Wastegate Boost Control. This is the main Wastegate Boost Control screen. We're going to choose Time Based. We're going to change the CO2 that we want the car to have on the two step. Make sure that our gain is set at 22 for the dual valve block. We have a CO2 bottle reference. Our CO2 bottle pressure is 150 PSI, and both of our outputs are activated by ground. Next, we're going to go to time-based after two-step target table. This is where you get to build your boost ramp. So at three seconds, we'll put 30 PSI. This is 30 PSI of CO2 on top of the wastegate. And at zero PSI, we'll put 15 to match where our two-step was. And then we'll go all the way across and hit I for interpolate. Then we can go from each one of these and pull a little bit out to build a nice ramp. Congratulations, guys. You just built your first boost ramp. This is CO2 pressure on top of the wastegate, guys. Remember, not the actual pressure that ends up in the manifold. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the racetrack.